Here is the Junior Castle, uh, G Junior HST Premium one from 2006. Um, this is one I viewed back in said, well, again in October, very beginning of October, and this was my dream for coming out of the hospital. So, after the things I went through in September with meningitis and all that, I treated myself to this train. Didn't exactly really could afford it, but there we go, I did it anyway. Because <laughs> that's, that's how passionate I am into trains. But, um, yeah. Some might know, some might new of you, might not. This is my passion train. In real life, I'm a form, and I've said this many times, but it is. Um, I remember seeing these as a little boy growing up in Cambridge. And they used to come along well, we used to see them when we were pulling Platform 2 on a um, First Great Western train. Is it a 166 or is it a one Class 43? I couldn't remember. But we pulled up right beside of one of these units, went down all the way to Scotland, the east side coast of Scotland, and um, remember it was pulling this train. And we came back on something very similar to this, actually, on that day. The, um, a week later so that was pretty cool yeah so that is the train I came back on for me and my mum and sister years ago pretty cool set um weight just the weight I think actually mm, it's very hard to say but I think this one on the right is marginally heavier not by a lot but this it's heavy enough, but <laughs> um, really no question really. But the front, it's very really difficult to move these units around, but look, these roof detail is a marginally diff difference, but not by much. It's very similar in detail, I think. I think the one on the right is definitely a little bit more detailed, but not by much. And obviously, I think that is all the difference, that's all I can say. I have serviced this, this one now, and she runs like a dream, so definitely good. Um, let's get these trains on the track, and I'll show you how they run. Well, you've already seen this one. <laughs> let's show you the DWR castle set, and you'll spot the... Um, the weird ones out. <laughs> So let's put the HST power car of the EWR castle set onto the track. Let's get her moving. Now you can hear her, and so I run doing both directions for half an hour each direction, so she should run like a dream. Of course, I haven't moved that tunnel piece out of the way. <laughs> Nearly always says something in there. Let's put the junior 
and we put her in reverse. Grab her train. And let me just just do it. But for detail wise, I'm just gonna manually adjust the join for you and take you off the constant table. Just me me a tickety Monday one stretching the legs out on the tripod. Yeah, and that's some height. And then we'll open the bottom one. You can see how it's traded it once. Finally, guys, this is a little bit all over the place this morning. One of those of you in is a little bit different this morning. Yeah, I had a bit close up my face there. There we go. I didn't bring the other battery in, but I probably should have walked it down because the battery is quite low on this. Right, let's get um, the tunnel out of the way. But, hi mate. I do apologise for my broken. I was a little bit rude. But, yep. Um, I think it's ready to go. Just gonna need to get the power car or train car for the GWR. And then the train car for the HST for the Genie R. So let's get this train running in second down. Which order am I going to run the HST? Well, for the inside, I'm going to run it this way. That way, it should be a lot more happier. Or not. Fuck you, Okay. I am cold. But, um, yeah. I'll go best start to the money session. Well, Jenny asked me to be out of the first Great Western County. And it went up to over. I think it's ready to go, I think. I think it could be the area in there. Right. We'll get her going this way. My car is going to go this direction as well as the ED will So, I think we're ready to go from the inside, but I'm going to let... And I'll just get this castle set train tire in the shot. I'm going to get it. push it down the track a little bit. No, the carriages themselves are a little bit of troublesome, but most of the time they're perfectly fine. Don't run controller. There we go. Yeah, let's keep it going this way. As I said, she has already run down it because she's a little bit
a little bit bumpy on this track because obviously there's two lines there she comes but I might just slow the tape just to on the inside and then like she's done the set uh, like she's going to sit on the platform well, side and two next to the GNR so yeah, I've gone to the scenery yesterday in the weekend which is quite nice actually <laughs> I'm going to move the top of the ship out and then I'm going to have to build that pathway it's a little bit of a problem with that one I'm going to try to on the side of the chair, but it's not going to I don't know why, because it's not perfectly fine, because the rest of the time time is on the other. It went around on me yesterday. I don't know what we could do. I have to do one of the smooth me around. Still have a bit of a speed now, which is pretty cool. As I said, she has run so. And yes, there's a lot of problems on mine too at the moment because I did some filming yesterday and the one thing I forgot to do uh, on, sorry, on line 2 was to change the tape to the uh, Sony 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 if it actually works, then it's not so bad, but if it comes in and keeps going the way of it, then I'm not going to go on looking out of the track, which is not so great. So, things are better than this, so what you call the HP on the inside, that's because I don't want to fall off, and uh, we'll have to sort the track out. Yeah. Yeah. 